Hey guys, I'm George Simeon. I'm a commercial photographer and also an instructor who teaches workshops by Sammy Scammer. I've been shooting Sony for about seven and a half, eight years now. And until recently, I had the previous 8514. And just today, Sony sent us, lent us, just for one day, the 85 1.4 GM2. It's a new version of the lens. At first glance, it looks the same. It's actually a little bit smaller, a little lighter, but the big, big difference is, of course, the glass. It has all new glass inside. That makes it incredibly sharp. But more important for me is the change in the autofocus mechanism to these, uh, what I call linear motors, a pair of linear motors. What it means is that it can focus much, much faster. It can also keep up with today's latest, greatest cameras. They can track the subject moving. I use primarily prime lenses. And my favorites are the 85 and the 24, the two extremes. But the 85 has a tight point of view that kind of matches what our attention is. Our eyes can see a broad vista, but we only pay attention to a small part right in the center of our field of view. And that's what the 85 matches. So at the distance of about five, six feet or so, it's a very nice head and shoulders kind of portrait. At 10, 12 feet, you can get most of the body. Well, if you shoot verticals, you can get the whole body about 12, 15 feet or so. In all cases, the perspective is very natural. Again, it matches our point of view. The other advantage of this lens, besides it being that ideal angle of view, the ideal perspective that matches the human eye, is that it opens to 1.4. And that allows a lot of light in. It allows you to shoot in low light. It allows you to shoot at very high shutter speeds. The other part of it is that if you are shooting wide open, it throws the background way out of focus. And there's a dramatic difference between this 1.4 and even a 2.8 zoom, let's say. Dramatic difference in terms of how out of focus the background is. When you have highlights in the background, they turn into round balls of light, and, or boka, they pronounce it. It's a Japanese name for out of focus highlights. So very few lenses can create that very smooth, out of focus background look. For a portrait, I want the person to be in focus and the background to be out of focus. So that's where a lens that has a wide aperture comes in handy. For action, when I shoot dancers, a lot of times we are in the studio during rehearsal or performances. The light is very low. I need a high shutter speed. So I'm always wide open, crazy high ISOs. So in both cases, having a high aperture lens is a lifesaver. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna actually take some pictures. I have a, a dancer with me. I'll do some portraits first, and then I'll do some action shots, and we'll see how well this lens performs. I'm gonna go for a very high shutter speed. I'm always shooting on manual, so I choose my own shutter speeds and apertures, and I let the ISO automatic. So I'm gonna go for f1.4. I'm gonna go for a thousandth of a second, or maybe even higher, let's see. Yeah, I'll go for a 12 hundredth of a second. And the ISO on automatic. So the ISO will do whatever it wants to do. I'm gonna watch the image in my viewfinder. If I think it's a little dark, a little light, I can always twist the exposure compensation dial and lighten or darken it. For portraits, the 85 helps us get close to our subject rather than using like a 200 millimeter and having to step back 10 feet away. So I'm gonna be three to four feet away from her. And that way I can keep talking to her while I'm shooting. And the beauty of digital is of course, you can take lots of pictures, during which the most important part is that we establish some kind of a connection and something happens between the two of us. So I've switched cameras. This is the A93. It's an unbelievable camera, a global shutter. They can shoot raw files at 120 frames per second. I don't need 120 frames. She can't move that fast. She's actually a little slow. I'm kidding. Kira's the fastest dancer I've ever met. But I'm going to shoot maybe about uh, 10, 20 frames per second or so of her. I'm letting the camera make all the decisions as far as autofocus. I'm still in manual exposure. I went to a higher shutter speed. I decided to go to like a 2,000 of a second because there's going to be some movement involved. I'm still wide open. 
but as I move, the autofocus is on what they call wide, which means the camera has full control of all the spots. It can pick any spot it wants to. So the camera is gonna find Kira, it's gonna find her eyes, and it's gonna track her eyes as she moves back and forth, as I move back and forth, and no matter how much she moves, and no matter how many frames are going through the camera, the focus will be constantly readjusting itself, and we'll find out later how many are in focus. I'm betting that they are all going to be in focus. So what I'm seeing the viewfinder is actually being recorded here, so you can actually see my focusing spot. So I'm gonna turn it on, and when I focus, that little green spot finds her eye, which is amazing. And it keeps her eye even as I move my camera back and forth and up and down. And even if I get closer to her and further from her and closer to her, it's constantly, constantly holding onto her eye. Now, to make things more exciting, she's actually going to dance. So she's gonna be moving, I'm gonna be moving. We're counting on Sony and of course the 85, 1.4 GM2 to keep track and follow and stay locked on her through all these movements. So Kira is moving, I'm moving, and the camera seems to be following her nonstop. Great, great. I do all my buying at Sammy's. As a matter of fact, if you come to their Fairfax store, I'm there at least about once a week. I always find something to buy just by walking around, as well as the list that I have with me. So uh, check out Sammy's. There's, of course, the Pasadena location, the Santa Ana location, and Fairfax, where you'll find me. And check out this lens. Feel free to bring your own camera body, put the lens on, take some pictures of the salesperson, at 1.4, you'll be able to shoot inside the store without any problems. But I think it's a great lens and I can't wait to get one of my own. Thanks guys. <laughs>